Hi, this is Dr. Alexander Haskell. I am going to do a presentation here on low thyroid hormone symptoms and review the seven causes and solutions. So these are typical low thyroid hormone symptoms, exhaustion, depression, weight gain, lower body temperature, constipation, etc. So let's start with thyroid 101, a little review of the chemistry, biochemistry and physiology. Very, very simple. Uh, the pituitary gland in the head in the brain makes a hormone called TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. It does just what it says. It stimulates the thyroid to make its hormone. The, the uh, thyroid responds to the TSH by producing and secreting primarily two hormones, T4 and T3. T4 or thyroxin is a hormone with four iodine atoms attached to it. It is not the active thyroid hormone. It must be converted to the active thyroid hormone called T3, which has three iodine atoms. It is the active thyroid hormone that controls all of the metabolism of the body. So now we have two basic hormones, TSH and T4, and they, they sort of are like on a seesaw. When the thyroid production of T4 starts to drop or go down, then ideally TSH should start to increase to stimulate the thyroid to make more hormone. And if T4 starts to increase, gets a little bit too high, then TSH levels will go down. Ideally, this is what a, a lab report would look like with TSH being right in the middle, right in the optimal range, and the thyroid working really well by producing plenty of T4, what's called total T4. When you see a lab result for T4, it usually means total T4, which is both the bound thyroid hormone T4 and the free or available thyroid hormone T4. That's the total T4. Let's go into a little bit of um, the uh, diagnosis here of two types of hypothyroidism. There are really only two types. Uh, one is primary, the other is secondary. With primary, what happens, the, the progress of how it happens is the thyroid starts to um, become able to uh, produce less and less thyroid hormone. So the total T4 starts dropping and the TSH, TSH starts rising to stimulate the thyroid to make more hormone. After years and decades of this imbalance, of the thyroid not being able to respond, the TSH level goes outside of what's currently the normal upper normal range and total T4 drops to the point of, of being outside again of the low normal range. This is an example of secondary hypothyroidism. Somehow, for various reasons, the pituitary is not able to produce the TSH hormone in adequate amounts to stimulate the thyroid to make its hormone. Returning a moment to the primary, what's happened over years and decades from those optimal levels of TSH and T4? What's happened? We, they've gone, the person's gone through stages. This person has a little high TSH, still in the normal range, and a little low total T4. This person is going to experience low thyroid hormone symptoms because their total T4 is low. I consider this to be a the primary suboptimal hypothyroidism. Now that last slide showed that TSH was in the normal range, but this normal range, that upper green line that says old next to it, is our current upper normal level of TSH. But the American Academy of Clinical Endocrinologists wants to lower that upper normal to the new level. What happens when what, what happens when that level is, that normal level is lowered to the new, it means that now we have probably millions of people uh, with high TSH levels, what were considered normal before, are now considered to be high. Now we have the possibility that if a physician will use these new um, upper normal levels, we now have the possibility of getting a proper diagnosis of primary hypothyroidism. For the secondary, just a reminder of what that previous slide was about, very low TSH, and because of that low total T4, 
we have people going through this stage of slowly becoming a secondary hypothyroidism patient, but going through years and decades of suboptimal TSH and suboptimal total T4. So let's review this first cause of low thyroid hormone symptoms. The primary and secondary hypothyroidism, they have the same symptoms because they both have low thyroid hormone levels. Hypothyroidism, overt hypothyroidism, doesn't happen overnight. It takes years and decades. Even though the lab results are in the normal range, a person can still have low thyroid hormone symptoms. They will be undiagnosed for years and decades. The physician waiting for the day when finally the person's lab tests are outside the normal range and saying here that we need to use we need to see it differently. A person with low normal thyroid hormone lab results, what we just talked about, needs to be treated for prevention of overt hypothyroidism, but also treated because who wants to live with low thyroid hormone symptoms? Let's optimize those hormones. I'll explain how to do that in a little bit. Prevention is through supplements and sometimes thyroid prescriptions. Prevention means that preventing it from going as far down as, as becoming overt hypothyroidism. Second cause of low thyroid hormone symptoms, the T4, which is a total T4, which is bound and free. And this is how a lab test will show when a person has um, mostly bound thyroid hormones and unavailable. This is primarily uh, due to high estrogen levels in women, uh, usually from birth control pills or other sources of, um, of estrogen, which I'll explain later on. The third cause of low thyroid hormone symptoms is a poor conversion of T4 to T3. This conversion uh, happens primarily in the liver, but also inside of the cells. Um, the, um, the conversion is simply the removal of one iodine atom from the thyroid hormone to form the T3, three being the number of atoms. This is a typical result on a lab test that indicates poor conversion where there is plenty of available T4, but it's not being converted and therefore low levels show up as free T3. The fourth cause of low thyroid hormone symptoms is hypothyroidism, and I'll explain what I mean by that. The typical prescriptions when a person's been diagnosed as being hypothyroid will be either Synthroid or L-thyroxine. These um, synthetics are mimics of the thyroid hormone T4 that we make, or thyroid makes. So these medications are really only T4. So again, this is a typical lab result of a person that's been diagnosed with primary hypothyroidism. Remember that when T4 levels go up, then TSH will go down. So when a person starts taking thyroid hormone or T4, their TSH levels will start to decline. So this is a result of a person being on thyroid medication is low TSH, their total T4 will be fine, but sometimes their free or available T4 will be low, again, because of estrogen. Another typical um, uh, result of a person being on thyroid medication is low TSH, normal total T4. They're con they're, um, they don't have a lot bound up, so the free T4 is fine, but their body is unable to convert the free T4 into T3. So this ends the first section of the uh, low thyroid hormone uh, presentation. And next go to the second video.